Hey guys, Hatimin here. Today I'm going to be reviewing NFC. What is NFC? Telling you guys what it is. Reviewing NFC tags. Some really cool popular ones. And I'm going to be showing you guys how you can write specific commands on NFC tags. Pretty nice video. And stay till the end because I'm going to show you guys creative ways that you can use NFC tags in your daily lives. So, let's begin this video. So let's talk about what NFC is, just a little bit basics of it, I don't want to go much into depth. Basically NFC stands for Near Field Communications, I don't know if you guys heard of it, you probably have because it has been out for ICS, all those devices out there, you may have it, basically it's behind the back of your phone, um, maybe in the battery, you can check in the battery, it should have it, um, it's pretty basic, if you go into the settings and you scroll down to more settings, there should be an option that says NFC. If you don't have that option, it's probably not supported, and you can't install it on your phone because it's a hardware issue. Not a hardware issue, but it's just in the hardware, okay? So get that right. Newer devices have it, older devices tend to not have it. So what does NFC do? It basically allows you to transfer data over the air onto another device. Let's say you have S-Beam, for example. You can put two devices together, and they automatically share files to the other phone. Here you go. Here's an example of a tag. Now, pretty cool what you can do with tags. You can actually place a phone over the tag to do specific commands. To write tasks on an NFC tag, uh, what I mainly use is an app called NFC Task Launcher. Now you do need an NFC app, so make sure you have that. It's free in the Play Store, by the way. So when you open it up, it's gonna basically tell you the first time what it's all about and all that. You can scroll right through and you can check out examples of stats and stuff about this app. My task is for every sticker that you have. If you have multiple stickers like I do, then you could use multiple tasks. I like to use a couple for different subjects as well. So when you press new task, you can choose NFC if you have an NFC tag and then you can name it whatever you want. So let's say I'm going out for a jog and I just want to turn off, I don't know, maybe I want to turn off the Wi-Fi and stuff and I'm leaving the house. So I'm gonna go and type in whatever I want. So out of home. And once I do that, I can add the action. Selecting the actions, I could choose whatever command I want in order to have it so I can tap on this and so that way it enables it. So maybe I want to turn off Wi-Fi when I leave the house, Bluetooth, turn it off. All right, next, then you can enable it and configure the actions that you want. So I just basically want to disable the Wi-Fi, maybe disable the Bluetooth, and maybe just turn off all sound. Okay, that's pretty basic. Now it says save and write, save and write it, and then it's gonna pop up with this. You basically grab the tag, put it on top of it, and then it's gonna say your tag is ready to use. Then you click done. Once it's done, your tag is ready and automatically you can use it. So if you're going to the home screen and you're leaving the house, you can basically tap on it and automatically it's gonna open it up and it's gonna automatically turn off all the settings that you enabled. So I have no more Wi-Fi, and like I said before, I wanna turn off Bluetooth. Bluetooth is off right there as you can see. So that is the basics of writing a command onto an NFC tag. If you wanna see more creative ways, so come check them out, here they are. You can basically use an NFC tag on your nightstand that enables your alarm at night and lowers your volume so that way no, no one disturbs you during the night when you're sleeping. A second way that you can use it is you're going out of the house and maybe you just wanna turn off your Wi-Fi and lower your brightness right when you tap on maybe an NFC sticker right out your door. Pretty nice, I like to have that really, really fast so that way if I'm in a hurry I can just tap on it Boom. Number three, if I'm driving and I'm on my way to school or something, I want to have it on my car dock, a sticker of an NFC. Maybe I just want to turn off the Wi-Fi, open up Google Docs, maybe do some extra stuff like Bluetooth and play some music on my stereos. Very, very nice. And the last and final one is basically use it to open up Facebook and check for updates. Maybe, um, maybe have Facebook update where I am, uh, tweet something. Very, very nice for all you guys who like Twitter and social medias. And uh, you can have it in everywhere you want. It doesn't matter. It always works any time of the day, anywhere. Now, I have some pretty good deals here. I have really nice tags that you can get it from a specific website. It's called andytags.com. Now, what andytags.com is, it sells a variety of tags where you can buy uh, NFC stickers. You can buy NFC chains. I like to change the most because, I don't know, it doesn't, it feels like it's very durable and it can't break. It's made out of uh, good metal. For stickers and for the keychains that I have, is also six dollars um, per keychain. So the more that you want, it's obviously going to be six dollars more. So come check that out. Also, if you want to get a sticker, some pretty cool stickers is that you can get three dollars per sticker. So not only do they have a green Android on the NFC tags, 
They have a blue one instead. A blue tag. What? Yeah, you can only get those at ndtags.com. So come check it out, links down in the description. Make sure to give it a thumbs up as well, always because I like to make decent videos for you guys. And uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button down there. Kapow!